Hi, uh, so continuing on from the previous lesson where I showed you how to set up a class and how to set up the structure so that you can pass your parameters in and so that they can be used. Uh, this le lesson is going to introduce methods and functions. You may have used functions before in Python and you will have seen them with the word def, which means define function. Now, you can actually, as part of your blueprint for your class, you can create functions that can be reused. Now, some of the data, when we set up a class, we will want to remain there all the time, okay? So that would be set up. Uh, so we've got name and age here. So when we instantiate or when we set up and use this, we're going to need to make sure we set up the information that's going to go into it. So for example, if I said here, all right, Ray equals dog, I'm going to go Ray and 36 that information is passed in when it's set up okay so when we set up our class now if i was to use this i am passing this information in one thing to be aware of sometimes we want to be able to change that after we've set things up so it may be that you want to pass different data in so what we're going to do this lesson is we're going to set up our methods and you'll see two slightly different methods here and hopefully they will make sense to you. So we're going to have our description of the animal. Okay, so we're going to go description and self. And the other thing I'm going to say is I'm going to create a variable to store a string in. So descri description equals self.name plus is plus str. The reason why I'm converting this into a string is because it's the number 36 here. Self.age. Okay, so dot age plus is old. So that now is a method. Make sure I name that. That will return this string. So, for example, this would say Ray is 36 years old. All right. Now, this function we're going to make now is going to be slightly different, and I'll explain why. All right. Speak self sound. So I can use all of these attributes in it as well. But I'm this time I'm actually importing a parameter which is has not been set up right at the beginning of the program. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go speak info equals self dot name says plus sound plus full stop. Notice this time I'm not doing self because it's not been set up as part of the construct of the program. It's being passed in later on. So two slightly different methods here except this one is just for use of this method. It's just been passed in because it's only going to be used by this method. These are likely to be used elsewhere, so I can continue using them. But just for the purpose of this, I have this variable here. So I'm going to return speak info. All right. Now, when I run this, so I'm just going to run this nothing happens because I've not used any of these methods. All right. What's currently happened is I've created, all right, I've created my class. All right. Up the top. Then I have set up. All right. I've created instance of the class called Ray using the dog class. All right. Now method description uses the information when it was instantiated. But sound uses a parameter that is passed in later on. Hence, this being passed in here. All right. Now, what I'm going to do, so you can see that I've instantiated the class. So this is an instance of the class called Ray. All right. And what I'm going to do here is if I did print ray dot description, all right, that's going to run that, but this string was returned. So when you run a method or a function, whatever you return 
is what is going to come back. So if I print this here, let's run this. Uh, Ray dot description. Ray dot description. Uh, bound method. One second. Description and on that. Sorry, syntax error. I've put that back in, all right? Because I'm using a method, I left my brackets out there. So I've then print ray.description and that's fixed that. Now, if I did print ray.speak, this time it's looking for a parameter to go in. I can't just call on it and expect it to work because watch what will happen. Missing one required argument. So I need a parameter that's going in this time that says woof, woof. All right. And I'm going to run that. And that now says that Ray says woof, woof. So that has used up everything that was set up when I created the instance of the object. All right. Then also down here, I've got what was returned. So this is the string I created. You will notice as well with age being a number, I converted it using casting. That's a programming technique you will need to be okay with. So I've created two methods. That now means if I wanted to, I could say Jennifer equals dog name Jennifer. 38 and again I can do print jennifer.description print jennifer.speak hello so let's run this it says Ray is 36 years old Ray says woof woof Jennifer is 38 years old Jennifer says hello so can you start to see why we use classes because could you imagine if I had to create these individual functions over and over and over again for individual people, that's going to take a long time and it's going to add more, uh, more code to your program, which is going to increase your file size. Why would you want to create a function called Jennifer speak? Why would you want to be called, have a method, a function slash method called Raymond description? You need to make sure you set up your class as a blueprint, and then you use that instance so you can call on those methods. Hope that's been useful. Um, and that's lesson two.